Just moments ago, I spoke to one of Annie Lay's close friends and former roommates, Vanessa Flores. I had a very tough time just uh, reading the headline. I um, read it over the internet. I um, came from Newark and um, I was just trying to get myself settled and um, it, when I looked into the internet and, and just see what had happened and um, to read it and, and then I guess listen to the statement by Yale's uh, president, I sort of felt like, okay, I guess this is then the real thing and it's not like what happened on Saturday where they were not sure about finding a body, like this was, this was, this was her. So it was uh, very difficult. Any idea why somebody would want to do this to her? The only thing I can possibly think of right now, it's a, um, maybe a psychopath, an antisocial uh, you know, person who, I don't know, maybe got upset about what she wrote about back in February and about not being safe and just kind of wanted to prove her wrong. You talk about her yeah. fiancé, John. He is not a suspect. Tell us about him. Mm -hmm. I think he was perfect for her. Like, um, John was so, uh, or is, I mean, he's, um, he was just so wonderful to her. John was so supportive of her, of, of her dreams, of um, following her research goals to, um, you know, they, they had to separate. They were together at Rochester and they, she went to Yale, he went to Columbia and he, supported her through this and they would talk on the cell phone for hours and they would just be so connected. Well, when you talk to him, please pass along our sincere condolences to him and to Annie's family. Vanessa, thank you very much. You take care. Absolutely. Thank you.